this is the guy she tells you not to worry about. And this is you. Here we have my custom ATRT, which I'm, it's a little small, but I quite like it. Huh, kinda like me. Well, anyway, I decided that, hey, I wanted to build some Star Wars stuff. And since I had just failed at making a uh, gunship twice, I thought, hey, I'll make something a little smaller this time. So I decided to make an ATRT. Um, and, you know, I have four. Actually, I think I bought six total sets of LEGO's official ATRT. And I have four of them with me currently. But there's just one problem with this thing it's gigantic. And way too big for what it's supposed to be. The ATRT isn't supposed to be this massive, like, gigantic, like, artillery vehicle. It's supposed to be the equivalent of, like, an ATV, but for soldiers. So instead, here we have mine. It's got pretty much all the features of the big one, just, you know, in a more correct size. So now, uh, yeah, let's just go over it step by step we got the gun you can move it up and down but that's it the legs and feet both move you can fit one figure with handle room for his gun there's a little antenna on the back yeah there's not much to this set really it's just a little thing i made because i wanted my i wanted a proper atrt well, slightly more proper. Really, the only thing that this is somewhat missing is the triangular guards on the front, but even then, they don't really protect the clone all that much. If you even look here, it's most it's mostly this big part in the front that's doing all the work. These these things don't really help much. Plus he's still exposed from the side, so this isn't that much more protective than this. And you can fit like four of these in the space that that takes up, so, uh, yeah. Anyways, uh, I thought since this is such a tiny little, little thing, I might as well do a step-by-step -step tutorial. Uh, trust me, it's not that many pieces. It's only about 36, including the figure and blaster. So, yeah. Real quick, before we move on, I would just like to show off what I've been using to Hold my phone for this video. It's this. <laughs> this part is just a little thing with room for the lens, but I paid a uh, articulating like camera arm with a clone trooper and a camera just for the phone holder, which is kind of funny. Also, these were the old legs, well, the old feet, as opposed to the new, more triangular ones, which keep the shape a bit better, as seen as. You know, on this guy. So yeah. Here is everything that would be included to make this. And you don't even need the blaster and figure if you're just trying to build the walker. But uh, yeah, so pretty much these are all the parts you need. Yeah, a lot of sets of four. Just like how with Lego builds their walker, I'm gonna start with the main body first. Take one of these two by two rounded plates and then these two one by two with handlebars, I think. Or at least with a bar. You're gonna need two of them in this position. Then you're gonna need these two pieces. I can't remember their names, but they have, yeah, these little overhangs. You're gonna need one with two, one with four. Yeah, just make sure they're not facing the same way as little bars. Then, to make the back area, you will need one by two with a claw on the side, this way, or you can do it the other way if you prefer. And if you have a blaster, you can go ahead and attach it. Take a one by two blue cheese slope for your preferred color. Then a one by two jumper plate, along with an antenna piece. Go right on the back. Yeah. Now for the front. 
you are going to take this piece and two of these one by twos with claws, except this time they're on the long way instead of the shorter way. Make sure they're up and down on your sort of front piece. And if you need to, you can replace this with a curved tile like this and put another one by two on the back. Take this, put it on the front. Then grab your handlebars, attach them to the top one. Now we're going to make the blaster turret. This one's really simple, it's only three pieces. It's this sort of like, I don't know what to call it, but I know it's very similar to a piece that I know probably a lot of y'all have seen. It's very similar to this piece, one of the sort of claw pieces, but it's the opposite. You're gonna need this. Then one of these one, one by one round tiles with a little rod on top instead of a stud. Pop it in there. And then take a gray lightsaber handle or whatever color you can use. Then just stick it on the front. And that's the turret. Then just pop it on the bottom. Finally, to complete the top body, set down a... This this can be replaced with a simple 2x2 two two plate. But yeah, try and use one that's smooth on one part. As this protects your minifig's legs from wear and tear from this. You know, the studs wearing them out. On the back, it doesn't wear them out. So, it's fine. Place them with the studs in the back. And there you go. That's the main body. Now, time for the legs. We're going to need these two. Just like how we used on the main body. These one by 2 with claw piece on the long side. Then take one of these 2 by 2 rounded plates but with like a chipped edge so you can replace these with some different legs if you don't have those using different plates attach them here and now you have your feet for the legs you're going to want to take them and put them on this way just put them on like that pretty simple then Hey, uh, Editing Jake here. I put the legs on backwards, so just flip them around and it'll be A-OK. -okay. Now, we're almost done. We just gotta add the part that holds the legs. You take... You're gonna take four of these, one by one with claw. You're gonna stack them like this. This provides extra stability. Then take a one by one with claw on top. Put that right there. Make sure that it's facing this way. Now you're going to do the same thing again with your other two. And then, voila! You have all the parts for your walker. Now, you're going to put these pieces, the uh, little ones with all the claws, put them onto the side parts. Make sure they're all the way down with the claws facing backwards. Then, you take your two legs, and attach them like this. You've built yourself a nice little ATRT. Oh, and one last thing for the end of the video, I thought I might as well show off what I did with the new uh, 501st Battle Pack. The new one, not the one that came out a few years ago, which I bought four of. But yeah, we have a com the commander, or officer, except this time, not only did I give him a proper voice cape, for, these things are so annoying, a proper, like, comma, which <laughs> Lego didn't, I also gave him an actual shoulder pad. I gave this little, I just made it out of construction paper, gave it a little blue rim. It doesn't stay on too well, but it almost does. <laughs> it almost stays on. And yeah, same thing with this. I gave it a little construction paper thing, and it makes him look significantly cooler than he did before, because before, he was pretty much just a basic soldier. So, uh, 
yeah, he's cool now. The, the, the whole set is nice. But I think the cannon looks a little goofy. But yeah, wow. Quick review. Yeah, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this little goober. And I guess I'll see you guys next time.